Well, I think like a lot of other students here, um, our family immigrated here from China. Both Japan and the American school were really foreign to me. Uh, between the emotional part and the quality of education, ASIJ has always been important. And there, there was a particular event that really weighed on me. So uh, I met Joe in 1963. He was principal at ASIJ, and uh, I had gone to school there from kindergarten, and thanks to Joe, graduated there. Uh, and Joe was just there for one year. I um, did some stuff I'm still, it's difficult for me to talk about, but uh, I took some stuff that wasn't mine. Uh, it wasn't much, it was like three dollars in today's money, but that's instant expulsion. Joe DeMarsh happened to be looking out his window and caught me. Well, the first thing I thought, of course, was the shame I would bring to my parents. And the second was my humiliation and being disgraced and, you know, all these fellow students. And uh, I just really, you know, as a teenager, a little melodramatic, but I thought I was just going to die right there. But essentially he said something like, let's see if you can do better. And I thought, okay, well, maybe we'll do some hard negotiation, you know, like suspension or that sort of thing. But when I left his office, I realized he had let me off scot-free. <clears throat> Chokes me up just to talk about it. It was unbelievable. I went to medical school and I went to internship, all that. I had a private practice, I taught at Stanford. And with everything I did, I thought more about Joe DeMarsh. That I wouldn't be doing what I was doing or achieve what I had achieved uh, without that extraordinary kindness. I initially wrote to Joe DeMarsh and his family I settled on the idea of an endowment because it's something permanent. Here's something that could be in Joe DeMarsh's name and do some good in perpetuity. And that was such an attractive idea. We had a wonderful remembrance uh, of Joe because he had passed away two days after I saw him. Um, and got to tell the story to a lot of people and that was great. If I couldn't give something to Joe DeMarsh, maybe I could accomplish two things with one act. I know what it's like to struggle uh, to pay the tuition, an endowment. It would be something that would be lasting. Who knows? It might help the next person. It might help someone in the next century. But I know it's going for some good to honor and recognize a good man, celebrate the good things he did, and he made the world a better place. So did you, George. Yes. Thank you, George. Thank you, George. Thank you, George. Thank you, George. To Joe. To Joe. And George. Thank you. And good night.